Hey everyone, in today's video, I will show you how you can use Microsoft Power Automate to move or copy list items or files documents from one SharePoint tenant to another SharePoint tenant. So stay tuned. I'm Deepak Shrastav and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to learn how we can migrate documents or list item from one SharePoint tenant to another SharePoint tenant. Uh, there can be the scenario where you want to move files or list item from your development SharePoint to your production SharePoint. Those can be the different tenant and if those are the different tenant, then you may need to find a way to easily move those documents. Power Automate can be one of the options that you can use or select to do such kind of migration. So for today's demonstration, uh, what I have, I have one of my tenant here, that is the one that you are seeing currently. And here I have one document library that I'm calling document migration destination. This is my, you can say the destination tenant or SharePoint site collection under that tenant where I want to move documents from my source SharePoint tenant. Similarly, I also have created one list that is again my destination list where I want to move or copy list item from my source SharePoint tenant. And this is my source tenant. As you can see here, this is a different tenant here as compared to the one that we have seen for the destination. Here I have a document library where I have lots of files. And similarly, I have a list where I have different list item created. Okay, so the requirement that I have right now is to move all these files from this document library to my destination SharePoint library that is the different tenant okay and I want to move these list item or copy these list item to my destination list okay so the first thing first uh, we all know what Power Automate can do uh, now we're gonna learn how we can use one single Power Automate flow to connect to these two different tenants and complete our requirement that is copying or moving the documents or list item between these two okay so I'm going to show you both options, uh, running the flow on your source tenant or running a flow to your destination tenant, right? It will work both way. So first I'll start from my source tenant. I'll log into my Power Automate here. Okay, so I logged into Power Automate here. The first thing that you need to understand when you are working on two different tenant is the connection, okay? When I'm running this Power Automate flow into my current tenant, I'm automatically logged in. So the connection that I'm going to use uh, is going to be there. If it's not there, I can easily create it. But because we are working on copying or moving the documents or list item between two tenant, you need to make sure that you are having the right connection to both of the tenant. Now, how this is going to work. So to make that work, the first thing that is most important, you have to have access to both the tenant or you, have, you should have an ID or login that allow you to connect to the other tenant. Okay, if you don't have that, this method won't work. So first thing you do, you go to the data, you go to the connections, and you will create a new connection for your destination tenant. So what I need to do now, I need to create a connection for my destination tenant. That is going to be this one, okay? So for that, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on new connection, because I am working on SharePoint. So we will select the SharePoint, We'll click create and then it's going to present you a login screen. This is where you will select the username or password that you are using or that you will be using to connect to the destination tenant. So remember, make sure that you are selecting the right email address that had access to the destination tenant and create that connection. Once you complete that connection part, I already have created. So as you can see here, this is my connection that I have created, connected to my destination tenant. And this is what I'm going to use for this particular flow. Okay, this part is very important. So make sure that you complete this correctly. And you should have connected, not the fixed connection or any error here. Okay, now I will go to the flow. I click on the create. You can select any type based on your particular requirement for the triggering of the flow. I'm going to use the instant. I'm gonna select manually trigger flow, click create. Okay, so flow got created. Now the very first thing that I will do, I'll of course rename it. 
okay and then i'm going to add my first step the first step is because i'm copying the file i need to get all the files right so i'm going to use the sharepoint get items okay now because we are working on this two tenant scenario each action you need to make sure that has the right connection in use right now this is the get item so this should be from your source so as you can see here it's right now using this one look at the tenant it's different so i'm going to make sure that i'm using the right connection for this so this is my current source tenant connection okay once i drop click on the site address you will realize if i'm not using the right connection i won't see the right sites here this is my site here where i have this document migration source source document library okay and in the list name because we are using that items it's not gonna automatically present you the document library so click on the enter custom value and then you can paste the library name here okay i'm gonna click save just to make sure that i'm saving it first time so i won't lose it so now we have connected to the our source document list next i'm going to do i need to get the content of the file that i'm going to copy so again sharepoint connector and this time i'm going to use get file content okay so get file content action it's going to ask you the site address again check the connection make sure that you are using the right one very important and in the file identifier you can use the previous get items and look for the identifier here this one it will automatically put you in the loop that's correct because get items may or can result or bring back more than one item okay so so far what we have done we have got our items we have got the file content now the last step is very simple we need to use another sharepoint action that's called create file okay create file now this time where we are creating the file we are creating the file into our destination sharepoint so this time the connection that is here is correct it is connecting to the deep power work that is my destination tenant i'm going to click on the drop down i can see the site address and as you can see here this is my site address okay and here i'm going to click on this folder and this will show me all the list that i have into my destination or all the library that i have in my destination sharepoint and this is where i want to copy the file that i'm getting from my source so like that file name that you are getting from from here so this is going to be file name with extension remember to keep with extension otherwise the file that will copy will not open correctly and then file content you know we are using that file content so use that perfect right so workflow is ready i'm going to save it and test it one thing to reconfirm that you have correctly used all the connection you should get two connection both are for sharepoint but one is going to be for your source another one is going to be for your destination sharepoint click continue run flow okay so the flow is running and if i go to my destination sharepoint now you will start seeing the files popping in pretty simple pretty straightforward so i'll let that flow run we were running that flow from the source now i'm going to use the same concept and run it from the destination also okay so now i'm on my destination power automate now and as you have seen that you need to make sure that you are creating the connection before you start so here right now we are in this tenant but i need we need to create a connection for our source tenant this time okay so this is my source tenant connection i have already created you know how to create the connection click on new connection it's going to open the login window provide your this time provide your source login name and password and create that connection once you've done that i'm going to create the simple approach or the same approach you can use any trigger i'm going to use instant flow manually triggered flow create okay i'm going to give a name okay now this time what we are going to do pretty much same thing the first step to get the items that you want to copy or move right so sharepoint get items you know yes you're correct we need to make sure that the right connection is in use and this time it's the right connection it should be your source because you are trying to get items from your source list now this will show me all of my site i'm going to select this one the list that i'm going to use is ct master the next step is 
more, much more simpler as file because because we are moving the, the items we don't need to use that get i get content that we use for the file so here i'm going to simply search for sharepoint and then create item okay yes correct select the right connection this time i need to select my destination connection here and my destination list okay once you select the list it will of course give you the column name and another thing right when you are moving the the list item you don't need to match all the columns if you want to move all the information then yes you need to match all the columns so if your source list has six column and if you want all six column information moved to the destination you need to make sure that your list are identical and have the same column there it, more or less it should be the same column type you can use a different name if you want to like for example i'm using here columns it's same as my destiny as my source column it doesn't need to be you can have any column name as you want just make sure that the type is the same so when i'm moving from <coughs> text it will move to the text number to number so it will be easy migration right here title i know i'm getting the title of the get items it's going to add the loop because get items can bring you more than one item and the columns i have that column click save okay so i save it now i'm going to click on the test similar concept you should get two connection if you are moving between two different tenant click continue run flow to run the flow should be running and if i go to my destination list it should start getting the items from my source right and if you look at the documents yes in really quick time we were able to move all these files from our source and also the list item from the source to the destination awesome right now there are a few things that you need to notice or you need to keep remembering when you are using it if you have lots and lots of items that you are trying to move be careful from the performance point of view if you are moving a lot of item the flow can be slower as you start moving thousands and thousands of documents and items so our if you are planning to use this for heavy data migration, then you need to think about maybe upgrading your license. The second one, also remember there is a limit of 100 in the get items. So if you are using get items and you know there are more than 100 items, then you need to make sure that you are updating that settings to whatever number that you want here. Put the number here. This is going to limit the 5000. So keep those things in mind. Other than that, this is pretty simple approach to move the documents and list item i'm hoping this will help you in your scenario where you want to move between two different tenant don't forget to leave a comment if you have any question thanks for watching keep learning thank you very much